Hey everyone, this is Rick Morgan, and I wanted to introduce a new product, but before I did so, I wanted to sort of run it by the, the crowd, the, the fan base at large here, and see what they think about it uh, before I go to any effort to make it. And the idea is of a calcium hydroxide solution for the conservation and deacidification of comic book covers. You remove the acid and preserve it, and sometimes, you know, uh, that makes the book look better too, and return some suppleness to brittle paper. Uh, but we want to do this in a way that's prescribed and regular and make it easier for people to do. You can buy the pickling lime or calcium hydroxide pretty much anywhere, even for cooking uh, purposes. But the, uh, the difficulty is in the measuring and the mixing and the instructions for use. And so that's where I'm trying to, that's the pain point I'm trying to alleviate. Uh, the idea of the product is called Acid Assassin. Looks like, like this. There's a logo for it. It might be backwards on your screen. It's got a little guy, he's like spraying something out of his hand on these comic book pages and these colors are supposed to be evocative of tanning on paper. And the idea is that I would supply you with this bottle, which is exactly one liter to this line. I would give you approximately two grams of calcium hydroxide solution, reagent grade. I would give you a little scooper to scoop. This is exactly as much solution as is in saturated one liter of um, DI, DI's or distilled water. So the idea is you scoop this in here and you shake it. You'd have to let it sit overnight or shake it several times until it becomes saturated. It should be slightly cloudy. And um, this is about six of these scoops in here, but I'm playing with the idea of letting you supply your own calcium hydroxide and not shipping it to you. It's incidental cost, but I think it also might be nice to have some just to get started with. Uh, and then you also have a half liter tripod beaker and you'd have to supply your own vessel or tray for you know however you want to you know distribute it to the comic book itself or, um, so that's the idea it's the name's called acid assassin i would sell a bunch of containers and measuring things and instructions uh, and probably possibly some calcium hydroxide uh, just to get you started and i have some experiments to show you how i would use it here in this video but i'm looking for input from you, the, the uh, comic book conservators of the world, to let me know what you think. Uh, so anyway, I hope you enjoy the video, and I'll see you. Please make lots of comments and let me know about this one. Right, Take care. So in this experiment, I'm going to add a stir bar to this one liter. It says a little less than one liter, but it's actually one liter exactly. Of distilled water, I put one scoop of this calcium hydroxide. I'm going to let it mix for an hour at room temperature in distilled water. And then I'm going to check the pH of the solution. Remember above seven is caustic, below seven is acidic. And we'll see this stuff is really quite caustic at a pH of about 11.2. And that's for our initial pH. Next, our experimental book is a Sergeant Ferry and Howling Commandos number 57. We're going to remove the cover. Uh, I didn't really need to be very gentle with this. I don't know, it's just force of habit. I'm gonna use my staple tool here to get these rusty, really rusty staples out. And then we're going to see what we can do to deacidify this cover of this book. Again, I could have just manhandled this off of here, but force of habit makes me go through this process with the Teflon coated or Xylan coated staple tool. And I'm just going to separate this front to back. I'm going to, this is the, I'm testing it for size. I'm just going to go ahead and cut it. So I'm only going to treat half of this so we can compare the two halves, what they look like and to see how much acid we get out of just one half of the cover. So we bisect the cover here. And I guess we'll just do the, the front part and we'll save the back for our comparison. And in this case, I'm just gonna, because I wanna get closer with the camera, I'm just going to put this in a shallow tray with some remay paper instead of an Amaki washer or an Amaki dryer system and the sloshing. This is just a simple experiment. I'm really not trying to preserve this comic book. So I want to get a uh, better filming of this. I'm going to take a half liter of the solution that we just made up or concocted. I'm going to pour it over this cover here. And there we go. That was 
this is a little bit smaller of a beaker that was that was 250 milliliters here's another 250 milliliters to make half a liter and this is just a bookmark amount we don't really have to use half a liter it's an amount that covers this um, pretty evenly and then we will just let it sit for 30 minutes exactly I'll start my stopwatch after everything's completely wet and then we will come back and see what effect we have the cover started floating in the solution so I'm just flipping it over here and I'm going to add some more remake paper on the other side to hopefully hold it down a little bit so it's not sort of it's floating around some of it was floating out of the solution so I'm going to take a moment to recover that here <laughs> pretty inelegantly <laughs> normally I would do this inside of it between the sheets of an Amaki dryer um, but it's hard to see the book when I do it like that so I'm going to use this as a bit of a of a weight to keep the paper down in this particular case so after 30 minutes the pH which was 11.2 is now 9.2 it's dropped two full pH points which means that this much acid in the paper has dropped the pH of the solution by that much which was kind of a lot I was a little bit surprised honestly now I'm going to place this in an immaculate dryer I'm not going to use the leg little clamp things because, honestly because I lost them I couldn't find them so I'm going to use regular clamps the important part is to put it up off the ground so it can dry from two directions at once and then we will come back and check the appearance after a little bit here so here we are this is about six hours later and let's see how dry it is I have it on these clamps at an angle we'll take the cover out and have a look here sometimes you see little circles from the holes in the vacuum dryer I don't really see them here I thought I did for perhaps a second but I didn't and here's the back cover the original back cover you can see that there's a little bit of a difference in it it's not really crazily different I'll, I think I'll have some before and after pictures here in a moment but you can see that this is where I cut it there and you can look at the interior pages well, I guess here there's a big difference and I'll have some photos of the inside of the book as well I suppose I can stack them a little closer so that we can see a color difference on that yeah and there's definitely a color difference it's also a lot more more supple and this is the color of the solution when I was done with it not super yellow but yellow this this came off the paper of course and here's a static image of the two interior covers for comparison images I'll show the interior uh, the top is the interior front cover and the bottom is the interior rear cover top's been treated the bottom hasn't the this is the before and after shots of the interior bottom right corner the before on the left after on the right you can compare those and then I'll do the outside front cover which honestly does not look all that much different it's not as obvious I guess here this is before on the left and after on the right I'd say pretty close to the same um, but it feels a lot softer and it does look cleaner at the top there at the edge but overall the idea is that the book has been deacidified or as I like to call neutralized so if you like the idea of this um, acid assassin kit or you think the name is great or stupid uh, let me know uh, what you like or if you have any changes or other things you'd like to see yeah yeah uh, ring in let me know you can also email me at rick at immaculatecomics.com and um, if you'd like to see something special maybe we can make it happen the uh, the days of getting stuff cheap from uh, China like these bottles which I thankfully bought dozens of previously for another purpose are behind us but thankfully I have them now and they can be repurposed um, to this and I can make the I can make the precisely uh, volumized scoops and sell it for it would be really cheap I think uh, but the idea is just to help people out the thing is the shipping because these are larger hollow things and so they may not ship so cheap 
Um, but anyway, if you like the idea, let me know. If you don't like the idea, also let me know. I won't I won't put any more effort into it if it's not something that the community at large is interested in. And, but I always, of course, I always appreciate feedback. And in any case, and I just like hearing from people in general. So um, anyway, uh, take care. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.